to find someone to be my next guest. It's going to be one of you sitting in the audience, except everybody has to stand. All right? I'm going to ask questions, and the last person standing is going to come sit right here. All right, stay standing if you have black hair. Stay standing if you're an actress. Stay standing if you're married to Ashton Kutcher. come true. No, she opened for you. She, you're not following her. She opened for you. Yeah, no, no, I don't want her to open for me. <laughs> I mean, I love Oprah so much. I love her too, and I love you so much. Thank I you for you. being here. Thank you. All right, so uh, you know what an ending is if, to a show is, because you did that 70s show. Yeah. And do you remember how that felt? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it sucked. Like, it's one of these, like, bitter... The, the truth is, it's bittersweet, right? Like, it, you get to a point where you're like, it's time. But on the day, I cry, I couldn't stop crying. Like, yeah. I literally reverted to being, like, a little kid, and I just wanted someone to hold me. It was How so old were strange. you? Um... How old were you when you started? I was 14 when I started. Wow. So I did the pilot in ninth grade. Yeah, I know, look at it, come on. Like, that's a baby. Um, I was probably 15 in that photo. Okay, so I started when I was 14. And then I ended the show when I was 22. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So I went through like puberty and yeah, sure. high school and kiss, like everything. Yeah. We have had you on uh, a bunch. And what is your, what, I, I like to ask people their favorite memories of being here. The first one that comes to mind is the obvious one. I was secretly pregnant. I was a little hormonal. And I just left the house to come here. And it was the Mother's Day episode. And my husband, you brought him out to surprise me. And it was as if it was like my husband coming home from war. Like my, I was like teary eyed. <laughs> and so I just saw him 20 minutes ago. Like it wasn't, but I was so emotional. Yeah, I know. Look at me. I literally was like, I just saw him guys. Like, it's not like, he just, he's not like, um, but that's, but I think a lot of it, like you were always so kind to me. Like I, I, and I don't think people fully understand how uncomfortable this is, like, if you don't know, like, there's all these rules to these talk shows, and you were my first talk show where people were like, just go and talk, and you were so receptive to that, and you were so present, and so often talk show hosts aren't present, they have a thing that they do, and that's how they do it, and then they cut to commercial break, and you were always so, you just made it so fun for me, so I just want to say thank you. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. Um, I, I adore you. I think you're an amazing human being, and, uh, and what's happening in Ukraine is heartbreaking, and, uh, and I can't even imagine what it's like for you. You have been, you know, you're from there, your family's from there, and, and you've raised, I think, something like $35 million. Yeah, thank is that... you guys, yeah. Um, you know, thank you. It's, if, if, you, if I focus on it, it's, it's like, how can I possibly be having fun right now? How can I be yeah. doing anything because of all the suffering that people are going through? But I have to look at it like, I hope I'm taking a little bit of pain away from someone who is going through yeah. that and giving them some happiness and some joy because it is a sad place right now and it is heartbreaking what's happening. And I have done my part in all the ways that I can and we want today, because you're here, tis best, because there are partners, they want to give you $30,000 to help with your efforts. Um, 